Good day and thank you for watching the ACS Library. My name is Kyle and I aim to help you prepare for the private pilot checkride for free in under 5 minutes a day. Today's video further expands on aviation weather products. We will cover the Ceiling and Visibility Analysis, or CVA. CVAs are phasing out weather depiction charts as an easy to interpret, very frequently updated alternative. Ceiling and visibility analyses should only be supplemental to METARs, TAFs, and AIRMETs. They are intended to be used by pilots for pre-flight planning to avoid IFR conditions and by pilots in flight to aid in preventing and escaping from accidental flight in an IFR conditions. CVAs are issued every five minutes based on current METAR and geostational operational environmental satellite, or GOES observation and depict user-selectable representations of ceiling height, visibility, and flight category. In areas where METARs are not present or scarce, conditions will be estimated. To access a current ceiling and visibility analysis, go to www.aviationweather.gov and under the Observations tab, press Ceiling and Visibility and you will be brought to this page. The top map may depict flight category, visibility, or ceilings of each station depending on the user selection under the Weather tab. The flight category view shows a green circle over the stations reporting VFR, blue for those reporting marginal VFR, red for IFR, and purple for low IFR. No shading on the map depicts VFR or marginal VFR conditions. Pale yellow shading, similar to the area outlined in red here, depicts IFR conditions or ceilings below 1,000 feet AGL and or visibility below 3 statute miles. The orange shading seen on the west coast depicts ceilings below 200 feet AGL or possible terrain obstruction. When selecting the ceiling weather depiction option, airport flight category depiction remains unchanged. However, here no shading signifies ceilings above 1,000 feet AGL, while pale yellow depicts ceilings below 1,000 feet AGL. And orange again depicts possible terrain obstructions. The visibility depiction option simply has pale yellow shading for visibility below 3 statute miles and no shading for visibility above that. The full continental U.S. view is decluttered by removing some reporting stations. As we zoom in on a section, we see that more stations appear. To access a regional plot, press on the bottom map and in the next window, select from one of the 18 regions or a full continental U.S. plot under the region drop-down menu. The full continental U.S. view does not include station flight category information. The flight category, visibility, and ceiling overlays found under the type tab on this bottom map are all depicted in the same manner as the top map, but with blue shading where there was no shading up above. If accessed through aviationweather.gov, there is always a key underneath, so there is no need to memorize what each color means. When viewing a regional plot, for this example, I've selected Albany, New York, we notice that the lowest reported ceiling at each station is depicted. Ceilings qualifying as VFR are depicted in green text, blue is used for marginal VFR conditions, and in the northwest we see that red depicts IFR and purple is used for low IFR conditions. This concludes our video over ceiling and visibility analyses. This is a great tool for flight planning as it offers color-coded weather depictions easy to interpret at a glance. Remember that it should only be supplemental to any METARs, TAFs, and available AIRMETs, as the information may be misrepresentative of actual conditions one might encounter. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'd appreciate if anyone who may have enjoyed this video might like it, subscribe for notifications about future videos, or share with somebody who might find this video helpful. Any feedback helps me out tremendously. Thanks again, and safe flying.